Let's move on to the final emailed in topic today. And the final email topic today comes to us from Trev8, who writes, Marcus Theaters, the largest theater chain in Wisconsin, recently announced that they would not screen the Slender Man movie in the Milwaukee and Waukesha, Waukesha? Uh, uh, counties due to the connection the story has to an attempted murder of a young girl that happened in the area a few years ago. After hearing about this, it made me wonder if Screen Gems is being distasteful to release a movie about a story that inspired such horrific incident. What are your thoughts? All right. Thanks a lot for the question, Trev. And <clears throat> really going beyond the specific instance. Now, Slender Man, of course, opens this weekend. Going on the specific instance that happened in your counties. We are often as film fans faced with the question of what is okay to make a movie about and what is not. Should we be making movies about tragic circumstances where people were hurt or people died or, you know, something horrific like that, be it pre or post, right? Like in the case of the Slender Man, pre or post. Should we be making these movies? You know, I remember, look, one of the most notorious and horrific uh, murder cases in Canadian history was the case of Paul Bernardo and um, uh, Homolka was his wife. They, this dude and his wife, they would drug, they would kidnap, drug, rape for days and murder young girls, 14, 15 year old girls. And this was the most notorious thing, a uh, cr crime spree in Canada, in Canadian history. And it happened right up the street from where I live in St. Catharines. And eventually somebody made a movie about Paul Bernardo and Carla Homolka. And the question was big then at the time. I remember again, is this tasteful? Should they be doing this? These are horrible things that happen. What about movies about 9-11? That horrible tragedy affected so many people. Should a movie like United 93 have been made? What about the, the Boston Marathon bombing? Should a movie like Patriot's Day have been made? But it goes beyond that. Like if we're talking about should movies be made that are either based on or modeled after tragedies that have hurt people. Well, okay. But we have to follow that logic to the next step. Then should movies ever depict car accidents? Almost everybody has been affected by car accidents. Either somebody directly in your family or somebody you know has died in a car accident. Car accidents are the source of a lot of pain and suffering and tragedy. Should movies use car accidents in their movies? You know, a, a lot of, many people have been touched by cancer, either themselves or loved ones, whatever. Should movies have cancer in one of their characters in a movie? It, 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 and it's not as easy of a question as you might think, because you're right. These are, there are movies like this that when you make them, could these be just, could they be considered disrespectful to victims of it? Could it be considered distasteful? Could it be considered just bad form to make these movies? It's fair to ask. My position on this particular topic has always kind of been this, and, and I may be right, I may be wrong. Just let me say, this is just my way of looking at it. But my way of looking at it is this, is that we as a species are by nature storytellers. We tell stories. Forget the movies. We as a species are storytellers. Going back to the most ancient times of draw, drawings on cave walls or sitting around campfires and telling us we are by nature storytellers. Storytellers is not just a habit we have. It is a tool we have for communicating our hopes, our dreams, our history, our future. But it's also a coping mechanism. Storytelling is a coping me mechanism for us as a species as well. I think for movies like United 93 or even uh, Boston Strong or, or Patriot's Day, I think there's a catharsis, actually, in the telling of stories. 
And I even think there's a catharsis in the telling of stories in jovial and almost satirical ways. I think there's like even something like a Slender Man. I think there's catharsis in something like that. I think there's a reason we tell stories. I think if something has happened, it's worth telling a story about. Now, we can get into an argument of, is, is it capitalizing on tragedy? Is it taking advantage of that? Uh, to me, I usually set those questions aside because the bottom line issue for me is, as a species, one of the ways we process things is through story. That's how we process a lot. It's how we normalize it. It's how we cope. Like I said, for many of us, it's a coping mechanism. For a lot of the species, it's a coping mechanism. And it's a massive way of processing our world, things that happen in it, things we want to have happen in it, all that kind of stuff. That doesn't mean I think you shouldn't be sensitive to certain things when telling stories. Yes, there are probably sensitive ways to do it and insensitive ways to do it. But generally speaking, I believe we should be able to tell stories about anything. And that's just kind of always been my underlying issue. Now, you may disagree and have some very good reasons for disagreeing. Again, I'm not saying my way of looking at it is the definitive right way to look at it. It's just the way I see it, but I could be open to other people completely having different ways of approaching that and seeing it, and that's perfectly fine. But that is kind of the way I see it. So I would say, yeah, make movies, tell stories, because I think overall it is a part of the human experience actually to, to tell stories like that. So that's just kind of the way, maybe I'm going way too philosophical on it, I don't know, but that's just kind of the way that I see it. All right, guys, with all that out of the way, we're done now with all of the uh, emailed in questions today. So let's take a little bit of time now and go over to some live questions. A bunch of you guys have been